Welcome to Tai Chi Alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Today I'd like to share with you a, a set of exercises that I've been working on developing over the last 25 or so years. And it's called Reclaiming Lost Territory. The idea behind it is that as we get older, we start to lose some range of motion and ease of movement. And these exercises are designed to reverse that process and actually open you up and create more comfort in your movement. It also develops certain really key principles that are necessary for really good Tai Chi. So, uh, the first part is to work with the Qua. Now the Qua is the hip joint. It's basically this connection here between your leg and your torso. And so what you want to do is bring your right foot forward and feel the ball of your foot and set your knee over the ball of your foot. So you're, you're nice and comfortable. The, the weight is spread throughout the foot, but you're centering it on the ball of the foot. Pick up your back heel. So now you have all your weight on that front leg. Okay, so the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be working the qua area so the knee doesn't move. So you set the knee and very slowly release down and spiral down to the right. So as you're doing that, notice that my leg hasn't moved and my torso now is facing that way. And uh, I slowly turn back to center. And I do that again, spiral down to the right and release down. So you're actually letting go of muscular tension and be able to settle into that leg. And then turn back to center. And one more time, spiral down to the right. And turn back to center. And as you turn back, use your lower back and, and rotate your body using your lower back. Good. Now we're going to go the opposite direction. Still in the front leg. Feel the ball of the foot. Set the knee and spiral down to the left. Notice the leg doesn't move. The torso does. So I'm opening up this inguinal crease. I do that and I spiral. Turn back to the center. All the weight still in the front leg, the right leg, and spiral down to the left. Release. Settle into that. You're getting familiar, getting comfortable with that, with settling into that, into the claw, and turn back. Good. Now you're going to go into your back leg, your left leg. Keep your feet in the same position, but pick up your front heel. And we're going to do a similar kind of thing here. Feel the ball, set the knee, and the knee's not going to move, and the leg's not going to move, but you're going to release into the claw. So here we go again. We're going to spiral down to the left. So notice that my body is now facing that way, my, but my knee is still putting over there. And turn back. Spiral down to the left. As I turn, I'm going to use my, my lower back, my yao, as I do that. And then spiral down to the left, really just kind of settle into that. You're, it's like you're sitting down into, into your leg. Feeling the intrinsic support of your of your connective tissue that's doing the work here. So you're not pushing away from the earth, you're actually just kind of releasing down into it and turn back to center. Good. Now, good. now we're going to go to the right. So spiral down to the right. You may find this a little more challenging, but just take whatever you can and just do it comfortably and turn back to center. And spiral down to the right. So notice that I'm turning, my body's turning over this way and turn back to center and I go back to here. And I spiral down to the right and turn back. Okay, now I'm going to switch legs. Put your left leg forward and this time we're going to start with the back foot. Pick up your front heel so you're in your right foot now and we're going to Feel the ball, set the knee, so you're really establishing your foundation. This is a really key part of any Taiji Chuan Ching 
uh, our uh, uh, Qigong exercise is to really establish your foundation. This is where you make your energetic connection with the earth. So feel the ball, set the knee, and spiral down to the right. So notice that my body's turned over this way, and then turn back to center. And spiral down to the right. And turn back to center. Notice that my hips and shoulders are moving the same at the in the same in the same uh, plane. Spiral down to the right. Really settle into that that right leg. The knee is not bending any more than it already is. So I'm not pushing the knee forward. The knee is staying over the ball of the foot, and then I turn back to center. Spiral down to the left. Release. And turn back to center. And spiral down to the left. And turn back to center. And spiral down to the left. And turn back to center. Good. Now go to your front leg. Pick up your back heel. All the weight's going to be in your left leg now. Feel the ball, set the knee, and spiral down to the left. Body's over this way, and turn back to center. And spiral down to the left, release. Sit down into that leg, letting go. It's gonna be a gradual process of letting go, so don't have to rush this. This is something that's running counter, spiral down to the left, running counter what you've been doing your whole life. So it takes a while to convince your body that this is actually a swell thing to do. And turn back to center. Now spiral down to the right. Knee doesn't move, leg doesn't move. Torso does, turn back to center. Spiral down to the right, release. This is how we get sung kwa. Sung means to release into the intrinsic structure of your body and turn back to center. And spiral down to the right. And turn back to center. Good. And just bring your body, your feet up parallel now. And just spiral down to the right and turn and turn. And then spiral down to the left and turn turn, and spiral down to the right, and turn, and turn, spiral down to the left, and turn, and turn. Notice how my butt is not, I'm not shifting my weight by pushing the, my butt out to the side. I'm loading up my right leg by spiraling down, and then I can turn using my claw. If I want to go into my left leg, I don't push it to the side like that. I Spiral down and turn. This way I never lose my root. As I'm transitioning from leg to leg, I don't lose my root. There's no floating as I'm going through that. Okay, so next we're going to open the jade pillow gate. The jade pillow gate is this point right here at the base of the skull. It's where your, your spine enters into your cranium and very powerful energy centers and energy gate. And what happens is, particularly as we get older, there's a tendency of the head to get this forward push as the, the muscles get tighter as we get in the back. So we want to reverse that. We want to open the, that gate. So you reach with your, the crown point of your head, you tuck in your chin a little bit, and you can feel that, that lengthening there. And we want to do this little exercise to help up that process along. So very simply you lift your chin and then reach down with your chin, reaching at the top of your head and then you lift and drop. And feel the stretch at the back of your neck. You're gonna feel some pull on the on the muscles and the tendons there because they have gotten shorter over the years. So you want to give them an opportunity to lengthen a bit. But we're also learning to pivot from 
the atlas. The atlas is the uh, topmost vertebra. And so we're learning to pivot from that as we're doing this. Good, okay. Now, we're going to create some more length in the, in the neck, the shoulder. So you reach out with your right arm and reach your head to the left. So you're reaching out with your, the crown of your head and you're reaching out with your fingers. And reach down with your left hand as you do this. And you can move your head around and find where it does you the most good. You can also move your arm around and see, oh, where is, it, where is that working the best for me? You're stretching and you're lengthening the tissues. You're letting go of the neck, shoulder. You're opening up the joints as you do that. And you feel it all the way down your arm. And we'll go to the other side and you reach with the head, reach with your arm, reach down with your right hand now and find a spot where it's doing you the most good. So you can, oh, and you can move it around. And good. Now roll your head, exploring the range of motion in your head, in your neck rather, as you're doing that. And don't force anything. You're just exploring the range of motion and try to get a little more each time. You do it by relaxing your neck muscles and just reaching with your head. Good, now reverse it, go the other direction. Gently exploring your range of motion. You're nibbling at all the tight places, the places where you hear the crackles and pops. And just gradually getting acclimated to more and more motion as you do this. Good. Now we'll do something we're call a uh, turkey head. And that is we're going to simulate the, the head motion of a turkey. I'll do it facing sideways. And so the idea is you push your face forward and then pull it back. And just push it forward, pull it back. Good. going to do release the spine starting from the top and rolling it down if I do it in, uh, in, in uh, a faster speed it'll look something like this I start at the top and Get attention. Keep the vertebrae underneath stacked up. You can even do this for a longer period than what we're going to do today. But this will get you started. The idea is you're using your body weight to lengthen the muscles and connective tissue along the spine. And you're allowing the vertebrae, you're creating some vertebral consciousness there. You're creating more awareness of your individual vertebra. You keep releasing the tension in your body as you go down. Now you straighten your knees and continue to drop, just using your body weight. Don't for, not forcing anything. I like to do it for about five breaths.
And now bend your knees and slowly come up. Stacking up the vertebrae now. One on top of the other. Coming up. Pause for a moment. Reach with your the crown of your head, the knee one point, and reach up, tuck in your chin, and feel the lengthening in your spine as we do this. Now we're going to go the other way, and we're going to arch the back, bring your hands up, and open your chest, open your shoulders, breathe and let go. Bring your hands down your center line, heart round your back, and then arch your back. Inhale as you arch open, and exhale round your back. And inhale, arch, and exhale. by flexing and extending the spine like this, we create more spinal flexibility. And this is a really key part of staying healthy and active. We're going to do knocking on the door and on this one you set your elbow and you're going to rotate from the elbow as if you're rapping on a door behind you your your fist is coming back like that and the other hand goes this way so you're going so one two and then you reverse it and you go one two and then one two and one two Notice that this opens up the shoulder joint, opens up the chest, reclaims that territory. Then you're also using the muscles in the back of your, of your, uh, between your scapula there to, to pull the, the, uh, everything open. So you're, you're reversing this tendency we have to kind of fold in like that as we get older. So, so now just let your arms hang. Reach up with your knee wand point, your crown of your head. Knees are unlocked. Your weight is over the balls of your feet. And just let your body relax and let your arms hang. And so you may feel them unwinding, the, the tension in the, in the muscles and stuff like that, just letting it go. Okay. Now we're gonna do big circles. So this one, the motion is like this. You arch your back, hands go back like that, inhale, and then as you exhale, you round your back, sink down, hands come down, and then inhale, and arch your back again. Okay, that's the, that's the exercise. Here we go. So inhale, arch your back, and exhale, round your back, hands come down, and inhale, Exhale, and inhale, and exhale. You're exploring the range of motion in your shoulders and your back. Also giving your legs a bit of a workout. 
Now reverse it, go back the other way. Arch your back, hands come up, inhale, exhale, reach forward, down, and inhale, and exhale. close. And let your arms hang. Notice that my elbows are out a little bit. I'm not just hanging down like that. There's a little shape to them, a little, little bit of roundedness there. Now we're going to do small circles. The hands come up, reach out to the sides. Notice that the elbows are dropped. And, and also they're not, they're not rotated up like this. They're dropped down. So my palms are down. Bring my shoulder blades together and back. And make small circles with my fingers. As if I'm drawing on a, on a pad on either side. Traveling ovals. And Breathe, relax your shoulders, reach out with your fingers so there's a lengthening there in your arms. You don't want to bring them in like that. You want to reach out. Good. Now pick up, uh, rotate your palms up and go the opposite direction. Keep your shoulder blades together and back. You're opening up your chest, opening up your shoulders. You're creating some space there. those for more. You can do a lot of reps with those. You can do it many times a day. But it's, you know, it gives you an idea of what we're doing there with that. And just relax. Let them hang. Let your fingers relax, your arms. And just feel into your hands. Feel into your feet. Notice the tingling, pulsing sense of fullness. This is, your chi is moving a sense of whole body energetic connection. You take the opportunity to just feel into that and allow the energy to heal what needs to be healed. And the daily practice of this is really helpful because it's a gentle way of reclaiming lost territory, of recovering the use of your joints and your spine and your neck in a way that is very helpful and very healthy. Okay, then step in, take a deep breath, bring your hands up, And then as you exhale, imagine you're pushing down on a big plunger and you're getting rid of all that energy, throwing it away, and allowing the energy of nature to fill up. You're like priming the pump and you're creating a flow here, an uh, exchange with the nature chi. And then just Pause into the emptiness, the stillness. Relax and feel into your body. So that's reclaiming lost territory. Very happy to uh, share this with you. If you have any questions, check me at rick at rickbarrett.net. And uh, have a great day.